Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your next 24 hours love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please do click the like button on the video and please do subscribe if you're keen. Okay, Virgo, we're going to take a look at the love energy between um, you and your person. Um, we have two of wands here, past position, page of pentacles, ten of cups, present, page of cups, three of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. And going forward, wow, the knight of swords, judgment, queen of cups. Okay, Virgo. So I am seeing here to start, uh, you could be connecting with Cancer Scorpio Pisces, okay, male or female. Center of the reading is the Three of Pentacles, and this is all about teamwork, okay, current, right now, working together to carve away the excess or whatever the difficulties might be or the carve away things that are not needed to reveal the true core of the beauty aspect of the relationship, what's most important. Um, it kind of feels like this, um, the quality of the relationship. What is the quality? What are the qualities of the connection um, that you and a particular person have? What are the what are the good things, right? Past position, you have the two of wands here. So I feel like there was this waiting energy. Um, there was a lot of ideas that this person perhaps had about relationship commitment. Um, this person was seeking total love and support, um, contentment, joyfulness. This is all about the love, <clears throat> okay? And I feel like, but I feel like the person was in a very passive position, kind of waiting perhaps to see what you would do. <clears throat> they may have been thinking about traveling plans. Um, there was thoughts about perhaps buying a ticket or buying you a ticket if you're at a distance to come together. Um, Ten of Cups can be about family. Um, so meeting family reconnecting with family and friends and just have a really having a really wonderful time but it was very passive it was more like maybe conversations about things like that happened or ideas or concepts about a relationship or about um you know what could be okay conversation perhaps about a family engagement relationship marriage children all of that um, but I just kind of feel like with the two of wands, it was very stagnant, you know, it was more like talk, let's talk about stuff, let's talk, let's come up with some ideas. Um, yeah, I, be I believe this person places you on, or they did in the past, on a very high, like a pedestal, the page of pentacles. It feels like when they looked, when they looked at you or thought about you or communicated with you, <clears throat> they just communicated about, you know, your value and how much uh, your character, your qualities, who you, are, who you are as a person, how much. I, I'm feeling adoration with this card. Okay. But let's get some clarifying cards to two of wands. I feel like this person was just kind of in a position of always in like at a crossroads or decision mode but not really taking action all right please show us the two of wands what's this energy here yeah the full decision about whether to take a risk and do something new um this is taking chances having a new path together adventures or some type of new beginning Okay, um, I feel like your person was at a crossroad about that or about traveling or about, you know, partnering up and 
it was mostly always it, it just felt like it was always maybe in the conception stage like it was a great fantastic idea and um it's something that they wanted but they just seemed like waiting for the right time not they weren't sure if something was the right time for them they they thought about it and they wanted to take that risk and waiting for the opportunity to <clears throat> take that journey with you okay tell me why the page of pentacles is here wow the star this person had a lot of hope really great hope hope for you hope for you and your you know what you do in your life um i feel like that's aquarian energy uh, so you may have been connecting with an Aquarius, but it kind of feels like this person um, truly believed. You know, they did have, they, I felt like the way they saw you, they kind of viewed you, like I was saying how this person viewed you as being like quite valuable. They viewed you as like a star, like a shining star kind of thing. Even if you were just someone that <laughs> slices ham in the deli, to them, you were everything. To them, you brought them a sense of peace and hope. Um, you gave them fresh hope. You, you, kind of like a miracle. I feel like this person, they may have talked about the miracle of a baby, had these ideas, but I feel like this person valued you so much like maybe they didn't really share that with you, but valued you so much that it, it was almost hard for them to believe. Oh, it's like a this like you're a miracle to them, or you are a miracle to them, and they wanted to create more miracles with you, and they had these ideas about that. You know, um, I feel like this person can communicated with you in the past because they didn't want you to ignore them. They wanted you to see them. The star can be about being in the public eye or just being a light in their eye. And I feel like in the past, this person truly, truly did want to have this Ten of Cups energy with you in the past. Let's get a clarifying card for the Ten of Cups. And the Seven of Pentacles with something, again, stagnant energy, just kind of holding them back. I feel like um, this person spent too much time thinking, too much mental energy, not enough action. Um, but I also feel like this person had some kind of like blockages. Um, they were definitely holding off and delaying things. It's interesting because the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Wands are both waiting cards. So a lot of waiting, waiting, waiting. This person putting a lot of like not taking action. They may have been waiting for you to take a risk with them, open up your heart or be more open with them. Let me see. I just want to get a clarifying card like why did this person, what was making them wait or hold off or delay? Okay, the death card here. This person had, um, I don't know if it's a fear, as much as this person held back because they, were, they didn't want to go forward and a, have a chance that it not work out or that it come to an end. Um, let's get a clarifying card for the death card, two of cups. Yeah. And so for that, they just decided to keep it casual, friendly. There may have been some fear of abandonment or anxiety. If I take a risk here with Virgo, there's a chance that Virgo might just change up on me and say, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I just only want to be friends. Um, there was a fear that if they were romantic, see, I feel like this person 
felt like waiting and being staying where they are and not really acting on the things that they wanted if they just stayed stagnant it was safe but there was a connection and this connection your person feels or had felt with you was transformative that two of cups energy is like I've met my other half I've met my match there's so much alignment so much chemistry and there is compatibility hmm. the wheel of the year this person sitting on the seven of pentacles maybe felt like they didn't have enough money okay um for some reason it seemed like their self-worth was related to their money. And I feel like that put a, like a wedge in the wheel. It was just always kind of like stopping things from moving forward. Yeah, the hermit, this person was torn in the past between taking a risk and coming out of that um, overthinking or just coming out of withdrawal. It's like, I feel like this person, you and you and them had perhaps a relationship where it was on and off, like there was risks taken and they would come forward and then they would pull back again and wait for you to come forward. So there might've been like, um, it would go on and then it would stop and then it would move forward and then it would stop. Now the present energy is, I see communication here coming from this person. Um, and I feel like there's a desire to try to create something here with you. Um, the threes are always about like harmony and union. So this could be marriage. Um, but working together as a team, whether it's marriage in a legal sense, spiritual sense in another realm. Okay. This person is right currently single and, you know, they're by themselves and they have their, their bank account is full. So they, they seem very stable at this time. I don't see anybody else like around them. Okay. And maybe their pet. <clears throat> And just all their pentacles. So that nine of pentacles energy is like very self-sufficient. They are in a good financial stable position right now. But this page of cups is telling me that there's some lovely, um, they're going to communicate with you. Okay. Um, so it's kind of like sweet. It's nothing serious. Um, but the intention is to see if you can both work together to try to create something here and to keep carving and chipping away at the muck. Whenever I look at this card, I always see, see how they're like taking that statue and creating a work of art, creating a masterpiece, but both of you working together to create a masterpiece. So let's get the page of cups. Let's see what the clarifier is for the page. Tell me why this page of cups is here for Virgo. Okay, ten of wands. Yeah, this person reaching out to you um, to put an end to some kind of struggle. Okay, ten of wands. That's a burden, exhaustion, stress. Put an end to any burdens or stress that they may caused you. Could be an apology for that with the Page of Cups. I feel like this person feels like they brought a lot of stress to you, placed a heavy burden on you. And even if there's not an exact word of an I'm sorry or an apology, I feel like this person is coming in with good intention and expressions of emotions positive feelings, love, may even get a picture of them. <laughs> so tell me about the three of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. The tower again, could be an ego thing here. That's been destroyed. This feels like crown chakra energy. This person knows that you are their person. They know it deep down. In fact, they feel like they've always known it, 
but either they weren't sure of themselves or sure or they felt unsure of you they definitely knew there was a connection there perhaps you guys are just stayed friends but there was a love connection that was made and this tower is telling me that there's like a breaking down and a desire to rebuild okay um, because before the three of pentacles this is the two of pentacles and this is a decision that's being made this person has been weighing their options prior to reaching out to you and perhaps they've had a lot of options and no one was really comparing to you they may have had a couple of choices no one's comparing it seems like the relationship and you are their choice and tower energy whenever that shows up in a reading um there's it's kind of like there were some changes or something that happened in this person's life that were not pleasant and it left them on them on their own and by themselves perhaps it's just the burden that they've placed on you is too much for them and you know the powers that be came in and just said you're making you place a lot of burdens on on your lover um, so I kind of feel there was a lot of a feeling of oppression in this person's heart um, and a fear of change which is why they kept uh, this relationship delayed or why they would come to you with these ideas or plans or hopes and wishes and then not see it through there was a fear so now this person's sitting here at the nine of pentacles and they've got all their money and their finances and you know their joys there's their um, luxuries and but they're all by themselves <laughs> just when i was saying that the five of pentacles this person feels lost and alone and abandoned sure they have some of their money but there's that poverty mindset because the love is missing you know they've struggled they were in um perhaps a financial struggle um maybe there was ill health or worry a sense of isolation or like a financial loss this person's gotten themselves back up to where they need to be so you will get some communication or a message from them because they feel like they're alone so going forward the knight of swords judgment and the queen of cups somebody's coming in here to um omit i'm uh, not a not omit admit some truths to you and future wise you know after these 24 hours going forward this person is coming in with a fierce assertive drive they have a lot of things they want to tell you there's going to be an opening up and i feel like this person is going to just talk 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 and this can be a card of lifestyle change so there may be um some travel involved here um and it's also about mostly whether this is you know whether you're dealing with water sign or not whoever your person is this is an energy of someone who is very nurturing healing and supportive um they open up about their emotions how they really feel Okay. they've been sitting with them for a while but they also view you as being this way so you guys have some type of camaraderie or something that was discovered between the two of you that's very fresh and lovely i don't feel like your person i don't feel like they've ever forgotten that about you but tell me more about the knight of swords what's coming forward okay king of wands aries leo sagittarius so not only um is this person coming in with a drive to communication it's also backed up with passion um there's power this person is coming forward with charm and courage um that's what's driving them it could be um a fire sign tell me more about oh, i'm just gonna yeah i would like to know more about this king of wands please Okay, seven of swords 
<laughs> this person, you know, they were, they ran away. They're not running away now. Now they're running to you. I just heard that song Run to You by Brian Adams. Um, I feel like they're going to come forward telling you about some type of deception or maybe that they were lying to themselves by, you know, not reaching out or not coming forward to tell you the truth. Okay. Um, that they may have been sneaking around, um, not intentionally trying to hurt you, but just trying to get their own sense of validation. Um, There's also an energy of um, back here, two swords. They're going to tell you that they left this situation as a stalemate. They gave you no option or no closure. Um, they just kind of left you hanging. Um, they left you in a position of where you needed to make a decision, but you just didn't, you weren't ready to make a decision because you didn't want to let go. And perhaps neither neither did they. So they just kind of, you know, took their their five swords here, and they just ran away, or they were dishonest. Okay, and I feel like they're bossing up here, male or female, and coming forward to express to you or admit to you that that's what they did. But also with judgment, is to reveal perhaps why they did and all their deeds and things that they've done in the past in their own life. You know, judgment, it could have been something that happened last year, 2020, um, but this is clarity. This person is coming forward. They're making, they, they will have made that final decision. They're gonna stick with it. There's a wake up call. I feel Virgo that this person finds their purpose in life um, and I feel like maybe you gave them some type of purpose or you represented some type of purpose for them. And I feel like, um, you know, they're answering the call here in their life. Let's get a clarifying card. What can you tell us about judgment? Okay. The seven of cups. A lot of sevens. Spirituality, inner awareness, mastery, wisdom, insight, and success. Um, this person reveals to you why they couldn't commit to you fully. Okay. Um, they reveal to you, um, why they kept you as an option or made it seem like you, they had other options. Um, they give you clarity. There's a restored sense here where you, you get to know now. I mean, I don't, I feel like when they come here in the present it's because of the why but I feel like going forward there there is a connection that gets made here with this person by way of the page of cups it's like a start it's a small seed of love that gets planted but I feel as going forward in the future some truths begin to come out about this person maybe they you know they tell you yeah they were living in fantasy land and they just weren't really they weren't sure how you felt about them. They weren't sure how they felt about themselves, or maybe they felt like they couldn't commit because they didn't think anyone would care for them um, or that they could be good enough, you know, deep psych things. But this is all about the cups and this is all about the emotions um, or they had too many, they thought they had many options or they thought they had time or they thought they could wait. Let's get another clarifying card for, tell us more about the Seven of Cups. Okay, the Hanged Man. Yeah, mostly to do about it feeling like a stalemate situation, that they kept you in a stalemate because they just weren't sure. They didn't want to let you go, they'll tell you, um, but they didn't want to hold, uh, they wanted you to stay in the hopes that until they got clarity or until they were ready to reveal. Okay, but also they'll tell you that in their time away from you, there's been an energy of like, they're gaining a different perspective. And I feel like it's, 
a big massive change there's a spiritual change happening with this this person might even be coming to god or learning about spirituality and how healing it can be you know they'll tell you that they they felt trapped and they were just trying to make the best of it they'll tell you that there's um redemption for leaving you in a stalemate situation they'll you know want to admit things like this to you the failure to launch energy so the queen of cups is here and like i said the, the queen of cups very nurturing and healing and i feel like this person wants to nurture and heal your relationship and express their feelings to you <laughs> a high priestess they want to release their secrets um and this person they're learning to trust themselves, their intuition, and how they feel deep inside, their emotions. They're, this person <clears throat> withheld their feelings, their deepest, deepest feelings, you know. What they may have revealed to you might have been tip of the iceberg. But what they're coming to reveal is the deeper things that no one gets to know about. Even if you felt like you knew, there's more for them to reveal. <laughs> And mostly Virgo, it's that they love you. It's a twin flame thing. That this person, they have a deep, deep love for you. That's what they've kept hidden. They want that partnership with you, that harmony. They appreciate you so much and they, they want to receive that in return. They're they understand now what it means about self-sacrifice they want to be loyal and they want to be responsible and accountable for your partnership as well and they don't want a breakup this person does not want a divorce they don't want arguments they don't want confrontation they don't want to be with regret or have to live with the fact that they made bad choices. So they put you in a position that was hurtful to you because of their bad decisions. And this is a decision to love now. And that deep within their heart, it's always been you. Always been you, Virgo. So let's get a couple of angel messages here knight of pentacles loyal dedicated protective a bit apprehensive this is your person planning carefully before they're taking action but then they get going they're paying attention this person pays attention to details they're waiting for the perfect timing. There's a guardian angel or someone who's watching over this relationship. That's a guardian angel up there. This partnership was meant to be through the struggles, ups and downs, ins and outs. It was just meant to be. King of Swords. For some of you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, impartial, intelligent, respected, and a bit stoic, receiving wise advice, remaining objective and fair-minded, public speaking, communicating clearly. This person, I feel like they represent all of these kings, whoever your person is. They have the passion and the drive. Okay, and this person's a very um, intentional leader, very strategic in their speaking and thought, but definitely possessed an energy or projected an energy of unemotional, uh, was in a, felt safer in unemotional relationships or projected an energy of being unemotionally available. Um, definitely has emotions but 
just felt like it was just safer to keep things a bit surface. And what else? Okay, Ten of Wands. Stressed out, seeking balance, is going to ask you for help. This person may be having some health issues due to stress. And transformation. The tower, a significant life experience that's requiring changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations. This person is, things are being revealed to them and to you about this relationship. And you are, we are coming up on the uh, full blood moon. Um, and that might be influencing these changes. But this person and, and you... It will allow both of you to break free from procrastination because I felt there was a lot of passive procrastinating energy and a release of old belief systems for both of you. You know, uh, there's a shift in the belief systems. Okay, so it looks very positive, Virgo. I hope that you enjoy this reading and... Please come back tomorrow. There'll be another 24-hour reading. If you would like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. All right, Virgo, love you very much. Take care.